it's really years and years when we have an opportunity in uh, such a good format have a possibility to discuss the current and future of Ukraine. Of course, that was a very brilliant film. Just demonstrate us and uh, bring us to be all the time to remember what price Ukrainian people already paid for having an opportunity to live in a different country. We have a lots of positive, a lots of positive. I'm absolutely sure and confident that country start to be more democratic. We have more freedom. We have a much, much better relationship with our partners from European Union. They start to be our real partners. A friend indeed, in need is a friend indeed. And even yesterday decision, in a very complicated moment when European Union find out a possibility to demonstrate their unity and to demonstrate the solidarity with Ukraine, have a lot of their own problems, this is an indicator how close Ukraine is now for them, for each of the leaders, each of the European country, having their internal political problem, having different zone of conflict around the world. They demonstrate that Ukraine now is their top priority. And the needs of Ukraine demands well-coordinated and effective policy not only for the European countries, but for the whole world. And that approach was demonstrated in NATO summit in Newport. Do you know my feeling when I am standing at NATO summit? My, I never feel it this way, this level before. I was, and I am, proud to be Ukrainian. And I feel myself a full member of European family. My participation for several times on the session of European Union Council, being among the leaders of the European Union, I feel myself as a full member of the European Union family. And many of you do a tremendous job for this, my feeling. And I thank all of you for that. Yes, we have a significant problem. They say that we lost the Crimea. No. We have an invasion in Crimea. But Crimea would be back with, together with us. Not necessarily, and even not by military means. I am confident that we win an economic, democratic, liberal competition for the mind of Crimean people. Because we would be effective, we would be not corruptive, we would be democratic, we would be free. And the standard of living in Ukraine, outside the, the administrative border with the Crimean Peninsula, would be much better. And this is the only way how we can win if fighting for the minds of Crimea. It would be the same way for the solving the crisis in the eastern Ukraine, in some districts of Donetsk and Lugansk region. When we launch the peace process, only few of you believe 
that we can establish the very fragile but peace. But from day to day, more and more people start to believe that we will be successful in this very difficult way. Even now, not everybody understands what is a positive feeling just to have a possibility not to receive every night the news about the death of Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian civilians. You start to understand how important is it. Only when you pass the way when dozens of Ukrainian heroes giving their lives for the proud of European to uh, proud of Ukrainians to be European. And that's why this is very important for us, for Ukrainians to be together, to be united. We can win only when we will be united. Under any circumstances, I am proud that right in front of the election campaign, the time when the internal contradiction has the highest level, Ukraine now is as united as never before. And you can absolutely understand and see that. And again, this is another reason I am proud to be Ukrainian. And I am proud to be the president of this beautiful country. And the third thing, your, your excellencies, Mr. President, Mr. President of European Parliament, your presence, Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Vice Prime Minister, Ministers, Presidents, your presence here is a very important gesture and sign of solidarity with Ukraine. Understanding that we are not alone in this very difficult struggle for our freedom and democracy. And the tradition of Yalta we will keep for the further time. This is a historic moment, dear friends. Never ever European Parliament has passed in a such a short time the preparation wor work for the ratification of our historic association agreement. Normally, it takes three, four months. President Schulz is doing in the two weeks. Why? Because it is very important and very symbolic to have a synchronized ratification of the association agreement with the European Union. And on Tuesday, September 16th, I would be proud to be in European Parliament, sorry, in Ukrainian Parliament. <laughs> And Martin would be in European Parliament, and we will have a video communication. And I hope we will see on the screen in the Parliament the picture from the European Parliament. And in European Parliament, they will have a picture from the Ukrainian Verkhovna Rada. And I'm sure that would be one of the most important historic moments <laughs> in my country. And I'm proud that at the same time, we're voting not only ratification, but the implementation plan with the exactly roadmap what need to do. And I want to make a special thanks for everybody who from the year 2007 undertake the enormous efforts for preparation of his, these historic documents. Your names, Ukrainian people, will be remembered all the time, believe me. <laughs> Together with that, we will vote very important anti-corruption law. Because corruption is not less important. The fighting against corruption is uh, absolutely the same important like the fighting for peace.
This is like a cancer which paralyzed Ukrainian country and Ukrainian reforms. And I am confident. We are absolutely sure that we can demonstrate significant progress immediately after the parliamentary election in fighting against corruption. And we introduce the strategy of reform, Ukraine 2020. And we spend these five, six years for changing the country. It is already changed, but we're changing the country with a, having very important carrots for Ukrainian states and for Ukrainian people to gain the membership perspective for the European Union. Because Ukrainian people pass one of the most difficult exams in their lives for, be, for being European. Ukraine never ever has a, such a level of support in the world and in Europe. And this would be simply unpolite not to grant us membership perspective, it seems to me. <laughs> but we should use this opportunity for continuous changes of my country. And I am absolutely confident that our efforts would be successful because we are together. The whole world is solidar have a solidarity with us. In a few days, I go to the United States when we have a very important meeting in the United States Congress with the United States President, top official. We're also hoping to have very important status for us in the near future, major non-NATO allies. And I think this is a crucially important for us also to demonstrate that we will have a significant improving of our security sector. Because only now we start to understand how important is the security. And I am proud to inform you that all the, our European and transatlantic partners Understand that today's fighting is not the fighting for independence, territorial integrity, and sovereignty of my country. This is a fighting for the global security. And this is a demonstration of the necessity to introduce and to create the new security structure in this very dangerous world. And what we have now, we have absolutely new Ukrainian army, absolutely new Ukrainian security forces, absolutely new Ukrainian heroes who demonstrate that even uh, during this difficult time, we can effectively defend our values. Once again, I want to stress, we are not defending only Ukrainian territory on Ukrainian sovereignty. We're defending our values. And that's why we are stronger than anybody else. I'm very proud to stay here in front of us, in front of you. And I am absolutely sure that this tradition to keep this conference and the decision of the organizer to have the conference, even if, we, if Yalta is still occupied, that would be very important to have this form of dialogue continuously. But I am absolutely sure that in future we will have a possibility to return Yalta conference back to Yalta. Thank you very much. Indeed.